Hello, my name is Shane Reeves and I'm with the Molding Graphics Systems team. Today we are going to be highlighting one of our surface enhancement products called Patch and Go. If you're a roto molder or user of kayaks, water tanks, agricultural equipment, playground toys, or roto molded plastic parts of any kind, you probably know about how much wear and tear your product goes through either from the production cycle or from general use. Well, Patch and Go was made specifically for solving cosmetic problems with parts right on the fly, quickly and easily. Normally, a blemish, dent, hole, gash, or gap in a product would mean the product has to be scrapped, discounted, or repaired in a more expensive route. I am going to show you how easy it is to use Patch and Go, which will help to lower your scrap rates and keep your plastic parts running efficiently without costly replacements or repairs. The only tools you will need for applying Patch and Go to your parts is a small flame torch to cure it into your part and some kind of flat applicator to spread the Patch and Go evenly. A small putty knife or a wooden tongue depressor works well in most applications. The Patch and Go comes in a four and a half ounce can or a one ounce tube. Make sure to examine your plastic part to get an idea of how much Patch and Go you will need. To use Patch and Go, you simply prepare it using only the amount you need at that time. You can apply it as is, or you can color match it to your part color before applying. To color match it, simply add in a very small amount of resin pigment to the patch and go in a separate dish. Then mix the color into the patch and go thoroughly. When mixed, use your applicator to add the patch and go into the gaps and areas needed onto your part. Make sure to screen the patch and go material evenly across the voids. Remove any excess as needed. Then using the flame torch, Flame the areas in short sequences, making sure to not overheat and melt the plastic. You want to evenly heat it, stopping and starting. You will begin to see the patch and go start to cure into the plastic and become solid. You can check the repaired areas after 30 seconds or so as they cool to see if the patch and go is still soft and pliable. If it is still soft, continue to heat the area till it becomes solid. Once the patch and go is cured evenly into your part and you have let it fully cool down after about 30 minutes to an hour, you can smooth out any areas as needed with simple sanding tools. Remember, patch and go is easy to use and can be color matched for your part. Try patch and go today to see how it can lower your scrap rates and keep your products functioning without costly replacement measures. 